Hi, I'm Cayman Reynolds, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can use the Apame frames. They're different from everything else that I've ever seen, but we're going to show you multiple ways to use them. And we got the Pro frames. They have two different models. One will not take plastic foundation, but the newer model will. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to use plastic foundation. Um, they have multiple styles of frames. So this is a deep frame, just like your average um, 9 and 1 8 inch. We are going to pull it apart really quick. It is pieced together in multiple places, so um, you just kind of pull it like that and just work your way along. S sometimes they can be a little tight. I have not pulled this one out. The top bar is usually a little harder, and you can get a flathead screwdriver. And you'll just kind of apply a little pressure, just kind of work it out. There we go. You don't want to, you know, go too far. So just a little bit, there we go. All right, so we are loose. And now we are going to take our plastic foundation. I'm going to show you how to use some wax foundation here in a second. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. By the way, if you do a lot of cutouts, um, these frames would be perfect for that because they have your little sections here. So if you have small combs, you can um, rubber band them in or, or different things like that. And it's going to save you um, a little bit of headache if you have smaller combs. All right, so we're just going to basically put that down in there. So let me let you see what that looks like. So these frames are held together by these plastic little pins. And we are going to slide this plastic foundation just kind of into place. And it just sits there and kind of has you know, a space for it. So we're just going to pop that into place. And we are going to grab this side. And we've already waxed this foundation with our own beeswax so it is ready to go into a hive if you've never done that before and you want to know how to do a couple hundred in an hour uh, watch this video up here um, laurel can do about 300 in an hour because she just likes to make me look bad i i think i could probably catch up if i tried but uh, anyway so there's that right there it's easy so that's plastic foundation in a pro frame on an Apame hive. Now this right here is really cool. And for those of you who are trying to save money, you can do this with a wooden frame as well, but just not as quickly. So we, I went ahead and took the liberty of pulling this one apart. And we are going to take this wax strip, just solid beeswax, with a hexagon indention. You know, just get this out of bee supply. And what you can do is get it without the... You can use it with the wires running through it, but then you have to you know, kind of cut them. I prefer just to get a strip of just the beeswax. And what you're going to do, you got to do a little bit more than just lay it in here, though. You lay it up here on the top. And then we're going to make sure that that's coming up. I want to take it all the way to the pins. This is about a two inch strip. And then we're going to push all that in really good. And if you feel like it's necessary, I don't think it is because I've already toyed with this and it didn't seem like it was necessary. You can take some beeswax and then you can melt it down just a little bit of a bead here in a second and that will hold it. So we're just going to take this right here and get that aligned if I can get it done. It's late. Ah. All right, here we go. And now look at that right there. Just pop all those into place and we have ourselves a starter strip. And this is really going to give some stability, these plastic rods here, and the bees are just going to take this and draw it all the way down. Now for those of you who are wondering, um, bees typically when they're smaller than a 10 frame box, usually I, I find between 8 frames and lower, they have a really high tendency to draw worker comb. Because they're small, they don't have as much resources, and so they don't draw as much drone comb. But when you get a lot of drone comb and you don't want it in the center of your brood nest, what you can do is use that in the honey super above the excluder later, or you can put it towards the edge of the brood nest where they're not going to be able to access it. Or you can use it for an IPM management system, integrated pest management system, to remove drones. So there you have a couple different ways. Now you don't have to use the starter strip. You could have a full sheet of wax foundation. There's a lot of options with these things, so I just wanted to take the time to show you how you could use these frames and the different options. So if you have any questions on what we did today, leave them below, and if you want to see 
um, where we got this hive, I'll have that in the comments below as well.